Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today basically what I'm going to do is take you through my whole squad on FIFA 22 because it's coming to the end of this game now and I want to basically document of what I've been doing on this game. I've not been uploading that many videos on FIFA um, recently like I'm going to revamp my whole YouTube channel and I'm going to try and be more consistent. I've got everything set up again. I always set it up and then get rid of it and set it up again because I want to do it. But this time I'm going to be so much more consistent, especially around FIFA 23. So basically I'm going to show you FIFA 22 now. Tomorrow I'll probably show you FIFA 21 and we'll go back until we get to games that I either don't have the disc for anymore or the servers have been turned off. But yeah man, like this game... Like, I've never really played FIFA in August this much before, but they've released so much great content and I like it. Like, all the icons that they've released, fair enough, some of them are really, really expensive. Like, this Pele, this Ronaldo. Like, come on, guys. Make it, like, I know, like, you don't want everyone to have these cards, but we're in August. Like, come on, dudes. Like, 26 squads for R9, and you've got a couple of 92 rated squads. You've got one, two, three, four, five 92 rated squads, like, Mate, if you're going to give us a 92 rated squad, you've got to make the 85 times 10. Like, it, it's got to be repeatable, not twice a day. But the 85 times 10 is a is the goat, is the most goated SBC ever. Maybe they should release a 90 by 5 or just anything like that. I haven't really packed any of the big boys, but this is the team that I've actually been using. Like, it's really, really nice. Like, I did Rude Hullet. Never tr never had Rude Hullet in my entire FIFA career. Well, the Prime anyway. But what annoys me about this is the baby version. Even though his picture is like, he's got a moustache, he's got longer hair. But in-game is a baby version, which is annoying. It really feels like I'm playing with the baby version. This Saint Max, very good to use, only used him three times. Excuse me. I used this Son. I packed him when all the swaps packs came open. Crazy good card. I did a Ronaldinho as well. Obviously, did Vieira a long time ago, but most of these players by Jorginho and Hakimi have been packed. I just wanted to try and get as many Team of the Year cards as I possibly could because they're just the nicest looking cards ever. All these on the bench are packed, which is crazy if you think about it. Like, absolutely crazy. The only two players I've bought is Jorginho and Hakimi, which is nice. And I'll show you through my club right now. It's crazy, man. Like, we've got a couple of loans here that we got the other day, but we've got Salah. Not even played a game with him. Rafael Liao, we've got him. Modric, not even played a game with him. Cordoba, Red De Bruyne, 142 games with him. 14 goals, 30 assists. This Ferran Torres was so good. When I got back onto the game, I had literally no coins. I did this Ferran Torres. Crazy good card. Crazy card. Dybala, we packed him. 37 games. Couple of cup foot champs. I've seen Davies. Mane, Van Dijk, Vinicius, man, doesn't even get it on the bench. 17 games, 4 goals, 9 assists. Cristiano Ronaldo played the month. I was so happy when he came out because I can have a first owner of Ronaldo, who I've still never packed. Still never packed Messi or Ronaldo. At a relevant stage for FIFA, it's crazy how, how I've not packed any of those cards. But I wish I had like an 85 times 10 to do for you. Right. So, at the start of the game, you may have noticed one of my videos at the start of FIFA 22 was around Rio Ferdinand. This Rio Ferdinand card has been with me since the start of the game. Not this card, because he came in icon swaps, remember? But the other card, which I had bought for like 600k at the time, right at the beginning of the game, which was a steal. I had about 400 games on him. I've got 702 games with this Rio Ferdinand card. I would have over a thousand games with, with this specific Rio Ferdinand card if if I obviously didn't have to sell him and to get the, the swaps on because why wouldn't I get the swaps on and sell and get more coins? But my RTG this year was based on Rio Ferdinand because he was my favourite player in real life when he played for United. Quality defender. Um, I've still got George Best who I played a lot of games with as well. I don't really want to get rid of these two because they're two cards that mean something to me in the game and then when you get down here you just get to all the trash cards all the cards that you want to use just for the SPCs. and there's my cancelo my pack board team of the year cancelo 749 games the most the most card i've ever used other than that third none this guy here the most packed 
card I've ever used, which is actually crazy, man. Um, what else do I want? I want to show you my record, right? Before we go to my record, my record is quite skewed. So I do play a lot of foot champs, but I do quit out of a lot of games. Like at the start of the game, it was like you needed six wins to get really, really good rewards with like red picks. So I was just doing six wins and then quitting out with like 10 games, six and four. I quit out of 10 games. So it is kind of skewed, but I've still got a positive record. I've got 950 wins. 41 draws and 730 losses. I, I want to say on record that at least 300 of those losses are just me quitting the game. Like, it doesn't mean anything. But there you go. I've got nine, I've got way over 1,500 games, which is crazy. That's the most I've ever played on any other FIFA. Like, there's no way I'll ever be able to do that again. I wish I had some packs to show you. I know I've got a rumor in the... in the Duper Gut Pile, a team of the year Donnarumma, but I wish I had some packs. Like... This year, man, I think these are absolutely pointless. Who wants to buy these? Not me, not anybody. We've got 141k. Shall we open a pack? Like, um, have they got any 100k packs for promos? They've got some premium gold players pack. Let's have a look at the odds. They're not very great, are they? Do you know what? It's the end of the game. I've not got nothing for you, but we'll, we'll, we'll open one of these. What we're getting, we have got a board absolutely trash. Let me do it. Can I do a play pick? I'll do a couple of play picks for you guys. Just to see what we get. We might get ourselves a Messi or Ronaldo or Genoa. I doubt we will, but we can try. I don't have any rare golds though, I don't think. So I'll have to buy them. Which are not too expensive anymore. We've got one. I ain't using 83s. Not a chance. We need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do three of these. I will cut the video, get the three, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we have got four player picks. Let's see if we can get any big cards, any fodder cards. Not really going to be playing the game that much anymore, but I just want you to document what basically I've done this year. Like, and we'll crack on with FIFA 23. We're going to try and get daily videos in there, man to um show you my progress but let's go let's do this in a while it's an 86 it's not a, oh come on it's not even a special card are you kidding me really esports come on now not special the amount of special cards in the game at the minute it's crazy man what right come on now this is a joke special card now and we get 93 come there Player picks are a bit hit and miss, clearly. But yeah, it's been your boy. Shout Alex, now I might go. Peace.